Sophie, the audacious producer who helped usher in a new era of pop-infused electronic music, died Saturday morning in Athens after an accident. Sophie's publicist, Ludovic Ludonatris, confirmed the news in a statement. It is with profound sadness that I have to inform you that musician and producer Sophie passed away this morning around 4 a.m. in Athens, where the artist had been living, following a sudden accident, the statement reads. Sophie's management also shared the statement from the producer's family. Tragically our beautiful Sophie passed away this morning after a terrible accident, it reads. True to her spirituality she had climbed up to watch the full moon and accidentally slipped and fell. She will always be here with us. The family thank everyone for their love and support and request privacy at this devastating time. Sophie was a trailblazer in almost every respect. The Scottish born, Fell Dog A. Bass producer transformed underground dance music, melding the worlds of house, techno, trance, pop, and the avant garde into something brazenly new and undeniable. Sophie, who was transgender, also sat at the crest of a new wave of LGBTQ plus electronic producers that flouted societal norms regarding gender, identity and the status quo. Sophie was a true inspiration, the world has lost an icon of liberation, tweeted the record label Numbers, which released Sophie's breakthrough single, Bit, in 2013. We are devastated. Our thoughts are with Sophie's family and friends at this time. Rest in peace. Sophie's career took off almost immediately after the release of Big, which matched high-res stutter step production with pitched up vocals in what would become the blueprint for adventurous pop music over the next seven years. Even more prescient was Sophie's next single, 2014's Lemonade, which anticipated the rise of hyper-pop years before its like 100 GECs became Gen Z stars. As Sophie's star rose in the mid-2000s, the producer remained essentially anonymous, declining photography and maintaining the mystery that a monomim provides. But in 2017, Sophie released the video for It's OK to Cry, the soaring anthem of vulnerability, which showed the producer's face for the first time and served as a bold coming out as part of the trans community. I hope you don't take this the wrong way slash but I think your inside is your best side, Sophie sings. Sophie followed up the single in 2018 with the critically acclaimed album, Oil of Every Pearl Sun Insides. Fittingly released on transgressive records, it defied categorization at every turn, mixing maudlin pop, industrial beats and ambient canvases. I think all pop music should be about who can make the loudest, brightest thing, Sophie told Rolling Stone in 2015. I'm interested in using current technology, current images and people, to make the brightest most intense engaging thing. It appeared as if Sophie was planning the return to the spotlight in 2021. The producer just released a new raucous single on Thursday, UNISIL, 